So I'm just going to read a little bit of a press release. It gives a little bit of an overview of what the plow match is, what we're expecting. Um, and the press release goes as follows. It says, for the first time, the International Plowing Match at Rural Expo is to be held in Dufferin County, September 19th to the 23rd of 2023. Breathe in Dufferin, Ontario's heartland. Watch history come alive with the showcase on agriculture. Savor the taste of Ontario's heartland right at your doorstep. The International Plowing Match and Rural Expo was created by the Ontario Plowmen's Association in 1913 to showcase plow, uh, the farmer's passion for soil, agriculture, and rural living. And for some of the astute among you, you may uh, figure that 1913 to 2023, how did we get to that number? Uh, there were a couple of years that there was no plow match, World War II being one of them. World War I was another, for instance, uh, and of course, during COVID. So that's why it's the 104th this year. Um, the main goals are to educate people about agriculture. Uh, it is the largest event of its kind in Canada, attracting from people all over the world with historical attendance numbers of 60,000, 80,000, or in one case, I think there was, they were almost cresting 100,000 people. Uh, and it is over a five-day event. The International Plowing Match and Rural Expo is happening this September in the township of Amaranth and Grand Valley in, within Dufferin in a little place called Bowling Green. And I don't know if you all know where Bowling Green is. Um, it is on 10th line or 10th side road, I guess it is, uh, approximately four concessions to the east of Grand Valley. So if you go up Highway 25, you go across 10th side road, you'll drive right into Bowling Green, you'll know that you're there because there's, it dropped from 80 to 50 and you will just see the sign and then all of a sudden you'll be gone. And Bowling Green is, don't blink because you'll miss it. But it's a beautiful little, it's right in a little hollow, it's beautiful. Um, you can watch plowing throughout history, old fashioned horse drawn, drawn plows to the latest in, and greatest in tractor plowing technology. All, all of them are competing for the straightest furrows um, to be completed. You can spend the day or you can spend all five days. Uh, there, if you want to spend the whole five days, and I don't know if some of you have an RV, we do have a full serviced RV park this year, uh, well actually it's every year, but it's a full service RV park with water and electrical service. Ontario Hydro is putting in hydro poles and everything, so there is going to be full service. You will be able to run air conditioners and everything like that as well. Yep, it's pretty interesting. Um, so come and experience all that, uh, that is special about the IPM, the community, and the community of Dufferin. Uh, so this year, um, there is the Tented City, as was mentioned. Uh, so there will be local food vendors using local produce and everything. There'll be local artisans. There'll be uh, entertainment. Uh, there'll be everything. There's a, actually the Dodge Ram Rodeo is going to be there as well. So there will be a rodeo as well. So if you don't, uh, you know, maybe plowing's not your thing, then maybe you want to go over to the Tented City and partake in that. Uh, if you do want to take part into the RV park, they have their own tent uh, for entertainment as well that's set up, where they will have their own musical groups and everything like that coming in for entertainment as well. So it, it is a huge event that is going to be happening. Um, the one thing that we do need is volunteers, as was mentioned. Uh, currently, uh, I believe it was about 750 volunteers is what they were looking for. We're only at 350, just, just crested 358, I think it is. So we need a lot of volunteers. Um, and there is a lot of areas where you can volunteer. If you don't know anything about plowing and farming and all, that's fine. We need people who can just direct people to where they can park. Uh, collect tickets at gates. All, there's all kinds of volunteer opportunities that we're looking for people to help out. Um, and that's really, that's pretty much the basic of it. If anyone is interested in going and they don't want to volunteer and they just want to go to the event, tickets are available as well. They start at $20 for anyone 16 and over. And anyone that is under that age, it is $15, I believe it is. I, give me a second here, I'm just going to confirm. Yeah, there we go, $20 for 16 plus, six to 15 is $5, and then children under are free. Uh, that does change uh, September 5th, so the, the price does go up five, $5, I believe it is. 